Hi everyone, I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. Um, so as you guys, if you've, been, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I've been channeling a new person coming in for the majority of you. Um, I've been channeling you guys breaking old patterns, manifesting someone new, but I know that some of you still want to know about you know, um, your ex, old connections, you want to see if those are coming back around. So I'm doing both on this channel. Um, if you're holding on to someone, then check the reading I, I posted, uh, the third party reading that, you know, kind of goes into the past. And this reading is going to be specifically for those of you that are trying to manifest somebody new. Um, and I'm, I know I'm going to be re reiterating that a lot, but I just want to put that out there, especially for those of you that are new to my channel. So, all right, so for those of you that are trying to manifest... This new person that's in your energy field. What do we need to know about this connection? What is there to say about this connection? What is there to say about this connection? Okay, I'm gonna have to move the fairy. Sorry, fairy. Loyalty, stability, vows, soulmate, past life, soul contract, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, all good energy here, truth and clarity, fear of commitment, mutual feelings, emotional depth, love offer and commitment, divine intervention and synchronicity. So it's all very good energy here. So I pick up two different energies in this reading. Um, I, d I do feel like there's someone that you were holding on to. You were hoping things would pan out with someone and you're realizing it's just not going to go in the direction you want it to go. And maybe they're not who, who you thought they were and you're starting to move on from them. And you're, you're, you're thinking right now, I think, about the kind of love that you want, the kind of person that you want. You're thinking about you know, manifesting your true love. And this person is in your energy field. This person is coming forward physically. Like you guys are already telepathically communicating, but this is a soulmate or a, um, a twin flame, possibly a life partner that's coming in. For some of you, it's just old patterns that you're breaking. There's just, there's a sense of an old energy that you're letting go of. So this could be a person. This could also be a long line of people. Maybe you have a certain type, um, Maybe going for emotionally unavailable people that ghost you. And, and you're breaking those patterns. You're setting yourself free from those patterns. Because the energy I get here is... It's, it's like an entire story is what I get. It's like you were loyal to somebody who maybe wasn't loyal to you. Maybe you presented st stability in the, in the connection. Or you wanted stability in the connection, but they weren't offering you that. And this could be someone you have soul contracts with. So maybe you're realizing you have these soul contracts. It's like you have this past life connection with this person. But maybe you're kind of on some telepathic level. You're becoming aware of the soul contracts that you have with this person. And you're ending those soul contracts. You're ending those karmic cycles and those patterns with, the, with this person. And you're like, you know what? No, I want to manifest somebody better now. I'm tired of this kind of connection. I, I don't want emotionally unavailable people in my life. I want somebody who's ready for me. And your intentions are, are loud and clear and you are manifesting you know, your true love now. You really are. And the soul contracts too, I, I also take that to be subconscious patterns, just, just ending old patterns of being attracted and drawn to emotionally unavailable people it's like, I think with this person, it's like you try to take it slow. You really wanted, you had deep feelings and you tried to kind of play it cool. You wanted the stability in this connection. You wanted to pull them in and get to know them and really take it slow. You wanted to go easy on them so you don't overwhelm them. But then this truth came out that, you know, they're going to be afraid of commitment no matter what you do. No matter how slow you take it, no matter how loyal you are, no matter how much you try to prove yourself to them. No matter how deep the connection could be, it's all just potential. And I think you're realizing that now. And you have better love coming in now. You know, you're, um, you're just, you're recognizing finally that they have this deep-rooted fear of commitment that they're not willing to let go of. 
And it could be that they're even, you guys mirror each other. Maybe you're afraid of commitment without even fully realizing that you're afraid of commitment, you know? Um, think about that for a minute, too. But again, for those of you that this isn't, if this is not a person, this could just be an energy. This could just be a pattern that you had with, you know, trying to win over people that ghosted you or played hard to get, people that were afraid of commitment, like always wanting what you couldn't have. You know, I think that you're realizing, I think the truth and clarity card is also that you're recognizing that you've had these patterns and that, you know, you're being honest with yourself about who you are and what you want and you're, you're recognizing these patterns and you're, you're realizing that you need to change these patterns and, and go for a better, you know, maybe someone who's not your usual type or just, you know, you're, you're ending these soul contracts, you're ending these patterns now. So it's a really beautiful energy. And that keeps coming up in these readings because I think because you guys are still in the process of it. It is a process, you know, it's not like an overnight thing. You have to consciously stay on top of yourself. Um, you have to to set strong boundaries and stick to them. You have to be honest with yourself about red flags. You know, you got to be intuitive. You got to develop your intuition and check in with your energy when you meet new people. It's like, because every new person you meet, they're either, you know, a reflection of a pattern that you're repeating or they're the, the start of a new journey for you. And you have to be intuitive and grounded enough to figure out which is which. But I feel like you're ending these patterns. The truth is coming out. Um, about maybe about a specific person or just about this energy the truth has come out and you're you're being honest with yourself finally about everything and you have someone you have this new person coming in where it's mutual feelings emotional depth where you know this other person might have feel have had feelings for you but what matters is what they did about it they didn't do anything about it you know what I mean like or people from your past in general just they didn't do anything about their feelings even if they did have the feelings they chose their fear over you and the difference is this new person is going to be choosing you like this is somebody who's giving in to their emotions into their feelings for you it's it's mutual love they might be scared too but you know people decide what's worth it to them and what isn't and they're deciding that you're worth it to them and they, um, yeah, they're going to come forward with a love offer, commitment, wanting a connection with you, wanting the same stability and long-term kind of relationship that you've been wanting. And divine intervention and synchronicity is at play here. So I think your guides are orchestrating this to make sure you're just in the right place at the right time. It might be a very synchronistic um, meeting. Like it's just, just like kind of like overnight energy where it's like you just find yourself talking to this person out of nowhere or... Um, you know, there's just, there's a lot of divine intervention. Like they're they're keeping you on this path. They're helping you right now with this. They're helping you manifest this connection. And again, this person is somebody. Even if you haven't met them yet physically, I think that you're already telepathically communicating with each other, and you're already kind of planning things out. And everything is just aligning perfectly right now to make this connection happen. Um, so yeah, pray about it and trust your guides on it. And I really want to hear from you guys too. Like, have you guys met this person yet? Have you, like, how are you feeling about this? Like, let me, let me know what's going on with you guys as well. So what else can you tell me about this new person? What else is there to say? Please be clear and direct. Ooh, passion and romance. Ooh, lots of, lots of good energy here. We got manipulation and deception, but not necessarily bad. I have to look at how the whole thing plays out. We got cold, guarded, and distrusting. I feel those go together. Happiness, warmth, light. Choose a path. Hidden truth. Domination and control. Passion and romance. Ooh. This is actually really good energy. So that's it. the energy that keeps coming up for these readings is that you're going to understand how different this connection is because this person is going to give in to their passion. This is going to be a really romantic, passionate, like just best friends, just very deep love that you have coming in here. Um, and, and, you know, a tip to manifestation, too, if you guys, for those of you that are trying to manifest this right now, is visualize it and feel it as if you have it in the present moment because that's what starts manifesting it in the present moment. When you 
if you do spell work or if you, you know, affirmations, whatever, if you say, oh, this is coming in soon or I'm going to have this someday, then you're always putting it just a little bit out of reach. You're always putting that energy in the future. So you want to take that energy and put it in the present moment. Like, thank you. This is manifested now. Like this, you know, just, just imagining them being there in the room with you. Imagine what that would feel like. Just imagining it and 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 visualizing it. You know, feeling it in the pres as if you have it in the present moment. That's what that's one of the the big keys to manifestation. Um, but anyway, so this the, the energy that keeps coming up for these um, these readings that I've been doing for you guys is that that's how you're gonna know that the difference between this new person, this new love. That's one of the many many ways that you're gonna know the difference between this new love. And, you know, your old lovers, your old patterns is that in the past, I think that, you know, the people that you loved weren't loyal to you. I think that they chose their fear and they chose their pride over you. They were afraid of commitment and they sabotaged things like they they were OK with letting you go. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I always look at it. It's like I don't want anybody that lets me go. I don't want anybody that's I just don't have the tolerance for that. You know what I mean? Like if someone. I don't care how damaged someone is or how afraid of, they, of commitment they are because we're all damaged. We're all scared, but people choose what's worth it to them, you know? So if someone chooses their fear and pride, I just let them. I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't want that. I want someone who's going to put me first. I don't want somebody who's going to, to let their fear take over. I want someone who's brave and someone who's mentally strong and someone who's going to choose me consciously every day, you know? And I think that's what you guys want as well. And, and sorry, I keep, I keep going off on a tangent, but what I was trying to say is that's how you're going to understand the energy difference between the old patterns and the, and the exes and this new love is that they're going to choose you. They're, even if they're afraid, even if they're a little bit damaged and insecure, they're still going to put you first. They're still going to consciously choose you. They're still, they're going to push past that fear and make an effort for you. They're going to realize that you're worth it. You know, you're not going to have to reach out to them all the time because they're going to be reaching out to you. They're going to be wanting to plan things with you. You know, you're going to be able to just kind of let go and um, let them take control in the right way. As we have domination and control. And in this context, in this reading, I actually get a very like sexy kind of sexual energy from the domination control card. It's like they're going to be dominant in the right ways, like dominant as in planning dates, you know, calling you, texting you, making the effort, um, maybe dominant in the bedroom too, but it's like they're in control of themselves and their environment. It's like a, an alpha male kind of energy or like a, a strong female. People are always like, oh, alpha males are so toxic, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no, true alpha males are rare. True alpha male males are amazing. They are men that know who they are and what they want they're go-getters they're passionate they they have integrity they have you know honor they they're good people um there's a lot of insecure little babies out there pretending to be alpha males there's a lot of insecure men that are just you know flashing it and trying to impress women but they're they're not genuine alpha males genuine alpha males it's like they're they just have this like genuine natural confidence like they don't need to compete with everybody they don't need to be toxic like they just have like a natural confidence like they can just be calm they don't you know what i mean like they just they know who they are and who they want and they set boundaries and they won't tolerate less than what they deserve so that's that's much different than that calm and, and, and confident and, and collected energy is, is so much different than, you know, these whiny little boys uh, being overly competitive and aggressive and, and pretending to be real alpha males. So, so what you have here is a real alpha male. Or if it's a woman that you're manifesting, a real, a real woman here, a real somebody that's, um, you know, got a lot of life experience, somebody who's who survived a lot on their own, somebody who's, who's independent, somebody who's um, very wise, very emotionally deep, very passionate, very romantic, very, um, they've just survived a lot on their own. They have a lot of life experience. Um, they've been alone a lot, you know, and you guys kind of mirror each other in that way I, I too, too, I think. This is like, this is someone who's more your match than these other people were. 
you know, I think that you were too strong or too, too intense, too this, too that for the people you dated in the past. But for this person, it's like, they're, they're going to want all of that. They're going to want all your intensity, all your passion, all your romance, all your emotion. They're going to want all of you. You know what I mean? All those things that weaker men were intimidated by, they're just going to absolutely love those things about you. They're going to be so turned on by those things. So you do have someone here who's kind of dominant and kind of con not, not controlling, but like in control of themselves. You know what I mean? Like somebody who's assertive, somebody who's able to take charge um, which makes sense because they have so much life experience. It makes sense that they would be the type that would be able to to handle situations that most people can't handle. Like they know how to take charge in the right ways. Um, so it's a very sexy energy that you have here. Um, and yeah, that's that's how you're going to know the difference. That's one of the ways you're going to know the difference is that, you know, even if they're afraid, they're, they're still going to choose you. They're still going to put themselves out there for you. They're still going to be wanting to plan dates with you. Um they're not going to risk losing you like these other people in your past did basically. And, and yeah, I think that you guys are going to marry each other in the sense, you know, that you've both been manipulated and deceived, maybe had to be guarded. So when you meet this person, they might be a little bit, they're not going to be super guarded, but they're probably kind of independent. They're probably a bit of a loner type, like maybe kind of keeps to themselves, just kind of observes people, you know, kind of ways to feel people out. And you're both going to be surprised by by how quickly this moves. You know what I mean? Like, I think with most people, with most people, your person is kind of, this person is kind of like guarded and a little distrusting, like takes a while to feel them out. But when you come around, it's like you're their happiness, their warmth, their light. You're like this angel that just lights up the room for them just out of nowhere. It's like they've they've been feeling alone you've been feeling alone you guys have been praying for each other and trying to manifest this true love and you know manifest this connection and and it's finally coming you know you you've been telepathically communicating and it's finally coming up in the physical world now and you know i think they're going to take off the mask with you i think that's the path they're going to choose is you the path they're choosing is you. They're, they, they're going to take this mask off, see him looking at the mask like he doesn't need it anymore because he or she has you now. They don't need to be fake anymore. They can be, they're going to be real with you. They're going to be vulnerable with you. They're going to see you as this beautiful light in their life. And again, they're going to take control in the right ways. They're going to be dominant in the right ways. And there's going to be this passion and this romance here and just this deep connection here and there's this you know is a potential life partner i believe so thank you guys for watching i hope it resonates if it does go ahead and subscribe